All right, we're here uh, with uh, Rhoda and Mary, and that's Mary back here, and this is Rhoda. Uh, they're siblings, and they were adopted together. Uh, they were held, uh, own, uh, the original guardian was an elderly woman who probably didn't have a lot of rules and structure. They don't really know any tricks or commands. Um, and, this, uh, and the problem that they have is that she tries to bite anyone that picks her up. And so in this video, what we're gonna hopefully do, I haven't seen it yet, but we're gonna hopefully use the principle of counter conditioning to stop the dog from reacting. Uh, now, sometimes I'll do a before and after uh, and show the dog's behavior before and show it afterwards, but this happens every time that, this, that you pick her up, right? It has, yes. Okay, so I don't want to get her all riled up first uh, because it's going to make it more difficult to help. So what I'm going to do is come over here and I have a treat, the Tricky Trainer Chicken Liver Treats and I'm out of my hair. I'll give you one of those okay. just to keep uh, Rhoda over there. Uh, touch her nose and then she should come over there and just walk away. There you go. All right, so basically what I'm gonna do first, for counter conditioning, you wanna be delivering the reinforcer, the treats in this case are the reinforcer. I wanna be delivering the treat first before the stimulus happens. The stimulus is gonna be picking up a rota. So what I want you to do is, when I start feeding this, I want you to pick her up, and as soon as I pull my hand away or she stops, I want you to put her back down, okay? okay? And normally she'd be reactive to this, correct? She's already, already freaking out. Okay, let's go ahead and put her back down. All right, let's get her to come a little bit closer. There you go. And go ahead and pick her up again now. Thank you. So what we're doing with counter conditioning is we're, we're creating a replacement. So the thing that I don't want to ha happen happens I'm having something very good delivered to me. And as soon as whatever this, uh, normally she's reacting, then as soon as you put the dog down, which she wants, then the treat goes away. All right, so now she's getting a little bit antsy. Let's put her down. She just grumbled a little bit. All right, let's try that again. Go ahead and pick her up. And go ahead and put her back down. Perfect. I know a good, a good cameraman we have right back there. All right, um, give me, pick her up, yep. There you go. So go ahead and put her back down. Now let's do it one more time. Go ahead. Okay, so right there, and then you can put her back down. I wanna talk about what just happened. So right there, she didn't wanna take the treat at first. So when you're doing counter condition, the whole point is to have the dog not react at all. If the dog's reacting, you push too far, too fast, you were too close, or it's too much uh, going up. Sit, sit. And she's moving a little bit slow, which tells me she's a little bit upset about what's going on here. And so when you do this, we wanna have it positive only, sit. So basically for counter conditioning, what you wanna do, and I'm using, I have her tethered right now so that she can't actually get to the person, but she's actually drawn blood and caused stitches. So she's not, she, she's not wolfing around with it. Now this could be an issue, of, it could be a resource guarding, but as minimal as the response was there, I think this is really more of a possessive thing. Who are you to pick up my sister? She's mine, I'm responsible for her. So the idea for this is, let's say we're, we started out and we're, uh, we're picking road up at 15 feet away. We wanna practice that until we can have five in a row, pick her up when somebody else is delivering the treat first and then somebody picks her up and puts her back down five times without her reacting at all at 15 feet. The next step, we would go to 14 feet and practice again. When you get to the point where she won't sit, sit, or take the treat, she's indicating by not sitting or not taking the treat that I'm getting close to my breaking point. If you push past it, all the work you'll do will be invalidated. So the idea is to make it very progressive and then stop whenever she wants to sit or take the treat. Okay, we have a good, we'll, we'll move one step further away, practice, so we have always end on a good one. And then we get done with this exercise and go do something else. Now, right now, they're probably behaving a lot better than they will when you guys try this next because the guardians have been out of town for four days. They've been at doggy daycare. So I'm glad that you mentioned that to me because this is not their normal behavior. They're a lot more boisterous than they are right now. Um, but it tells me that we can do things to help exercise them ahead of time and put her in a position to succeed when we do this next time. So if, you, if she's full of beans, make sure you do the up down stairs or the laser or fetch or whatever it is we talked about off camera until we deplete that energy. Make sure she's not panting heavily. Make sure, she, so probably about 10 or 15 minutes after that exercise before you actually practice this. Now right now we're doing it in this room because I didn't know how much distance we need and this is a long access point in the house. 
but you want to practice in different parts of the house um, and eventually outside too. But I would have her restrained just to make sure that if she does lurch and, and has too much, she can't get to the person and bite the person. Uh, and it's a frenzy. But basically, like I talked about off camera, what we're doing is helping her develop a behavior pattern of not being aggressive when she watches her sister be picked up. And it has to be repeated enough. When we do that enough, the neural pathways still will start to group together. We'll get something called a myelin sheath developing over it. And the new normal for her is to watch people pick her sister up and down while she eats a tasty treat. Sit. This is Mary, that's Rhoda, and this is how you can use counter conditioning to stop a dog from biting or attacking you when you pick up its sibling.